All right. Yeah, I'm going to print this listener feedback, dude. Good idea. Hold on. Because I'm going to want to mark it up a little bit. Sure. How's it going, everybody? Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to print that. It's We're talking about what we would say to our younger selves. Younger selves. Younger. Your printer's younger. working? Huh? Is your printer Should working? Be. Okay. Is your refrigerator running? Did you ever uh, did you ever do a prank call like that? No. I didn't. I don't think I ever prank called anybody. Nope. I did nor get an agenda. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. My uh closet smells like um Christmas candles. Your what does? A closet. <laughs> okay. You've got them stored in there? People can't hear Anthony right now, and if I do put this up at some point, oh, sorry. He said that his can his closet smells like Christmas candles. Sorry. He also said, "I did nor get, get an I agenda. Didn't, I did nor get an agenda." My Gender. favorite part of that scene is they're like, "What did you say?" And he has to say it again. I did nor get an agenda. I did nor get an agenda. He cracks himself up all the time. Yeah. Good. All right. Let's do it, dude. Ready. This is a fun one. Yep. A deep one. Mm hmm Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Click. Clap. One, two, three. Clap. Clap. One, two, three. Clap. Clap. This is Younger Self. Part one, AG side slash Stephen G side. You're listening to the Two Gomers podcast, a show about two regular guys in their 40s, embracing midlife, chasing healthy aging, and inviting a nation along for the run. This is episode 405. What would you say to your younger self for April 12th, 2024? Welcome, everybody, to episode 405 of the Two Gomers podcast. This is Anthony speaking, one of those two aforementioned Gomers coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, with my friend Stephen, all the way out in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. So this is another live-to-tape episode. Day before. Yep. We got a no edits straight to video. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, is there any way we can prove that, dude? I mean, we get, we did it, Nation. We all survived the solar eclipse. Yep, made it through. I I mean, you may or may not want to wait around for the what's giving us life for a report on that. Okay, great. Uh, so we won't waste that content now. Right. Um, Dark Matter was just announced that it's going to be one of my favorite books from last year or two years ago. Uh, going to be, which probably came out like five years ago, um, but I read it <laughs> um, yeah. by Blake Crouch, is going to be an Apple TV mini series that's right oh here's some breaking news oj simpson died whoa weird huh huh that's just like some you know there's just some people where you're like huh. that's weird that they died this feels weird huh. that oj simpson died know it berg from naked gun <laughs> right what right. he's best known for <laughs> that's the infamous character from that Right, yeah, and the yeah. white Bronco. And maybe that's where we can stop talking about OJ yeah. Simpson. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's um, placing us in time. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, I Have you seen this uh, Conan O'Brien on The Tonight Show yet? He no. went, he The first time he's been back on The Tonight Show since he got kicked off was this week. Oh. And With, I have not watched that interview who is it? yet. Fallon? Jimmy Fallon, yeah. Yeah. And I heard it's kind of a somber interview. Interesting. Okay. Yep. I didn't even know. I mean, that used to be something I would have been on top of. I, my late night game is down. Bad. Well, I blame your algorithm. It's not your fault. Yep. yep. You're right. The algorithm let me down on this one. I want to watch that. Sounds good. Sounds um, interesting, at least. 
yeah. So we're the, here, here we are on April 11th recording for an April 12th release date. Yep. Great. And uh, we're going to kind of rush through, not rush through. We're just going to get no through this intro. Yep. What? This intro. It's good that I can speak. Anyways, uh-huh. we're going to get through this intro quick because my feeling is that this question, core question that we're going to be asking, what would you yep. say to your younger self is going to take up the bulk of the episode and we want to get there. Mm-hmm. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with some quick Gomer tips of the week. Then we're going to head into the core where we take a deeper look at a way we're chasing health in midlife. And sometimes we like to ask questions. And that question this week is, what would you say to your younger self? And then we'll end with what's giving us life this week. I have this weird feeling that it might be solar eclipse related. Hmm. But we'll Maybe. have to see. Yeah. And of course, a ton of fun stuff along the way. But first, here on the Two Gomers podcast, we want to take big strides toward health, but we know that most of the time it's simple and small. So now it's time for Gomer's Tip of the Week. All right, let's clap. You're still recording, right? Not like last time. (laughs) Yep. One, two, three, clap. Clap. One, two, three, clap. Clap. Oh, I see Chewy. There he goes. Old guy. Oh, old guy Chewy. Yeah, he's sad. Oh, how about I start with my Gomer's tip? Because he's sad for a reason. Okay, Um, great. So Jessica is out of town. Okay. She's been out of town more than she's been in town this month. Oh, wow. Um, So right now she is on a 100-mile pilgrimage hike in Northern California. Oh, dang. By herself? No, she's with some friends, and she's okay. walking 12 to 13 miles a day for eight days. Oh, man, that sounds incredible. Through, like, the Redwoods, bro, through yeah. oh, wine Lord. country. Yep. I mean, it. so anyway, wow. she's gone. We're in the middle of this, her being gone for nine days. She was already in Wisconsin about two weeks ago for a week. So one of the things that's hard about Jessica being gone, besides I'm so friggin' sad and lonely all the time, (laughs) right, (laughs) is that she's my running partner. Mm -hmm. And so when she is gone, getting out there to run is that much harder for me. Mm -hmm. And so I had to go back to some runner's block runner's tips, bro. Wow. And... I'm going to share an all-timer today, and it is the thing that it's like the most basic tip, but I cannot get away from the fact that it's what gets me out in the morning when I really don't want to, and that is I set my clothes out the night before. Mm, Good tip. I, I think this might be the running tip for me. Yep. Of all the years, how long we've been doing this? 15 and a half? Yep. All the tips. Sometimes you just got to go way back to the basics. And for me, if I set out my running clothes the night before and I don't put on regular clothes when I wake up, but I put those clothes on. Right. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's the end of the tip. You actually have to put those clothes on. Yep. Yeah. Then I run. It's so basic and and simple, but that's the that's the uh, the atomic habit uh, mm-hmm. the habit stacking. Or no, domino habits is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, or even Keystone. So, I don't know if it's Keystone, but yeah, I guess it is. It's a so it's, that Keystone it's, habit. No, it's not. Those are bigger, right? Well, that no, that could be a Keystone habit. Like your your Keystone habit is running, right? right? Okay, it's like a yep. it's like an absolutely crucial habit to your life. Yes. But maybe it was a domino because mm-hmm. you start it the night before. Yeah. And then it it gets the domino effect going where you wake up and then you start that thing, right? And then so that the, the that thing rules. for me it's, is like if I put those clothes on, yep. I feel so bad for some reason yeah. about taking right. them off again and putting regular oh. clothes on if I haven't run. Yeah, it would be stupid. Like I can't I can't <laughs> think of a one to one for anything else. Yeah. But why would you take those off without having done the, done the task at hand? Done the deed. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, Mr. So Deeds. The, 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 oh, which is still on my to watch list. Oh, yeah. It's in Good my one. queue, except for it's not streaming anywhere. Oh, man. Dude, I've been I've been prone lately to just buy movies. On prone Apple to TV wander. That I, yeah, that I want to watch. I'm like defending your life. It's nowhere. I'm just going to buy it. Yeah. I I've mean, been a, a little trigger happy with the purchasing of 399 movies. No, I like, think you're they, more willing to do that with a movie you haven't seen. Yep. I, I get like, I don't know, skittish about that for some reason. When I know I'm going to love it. Uh huh. Like it's Albert Brooks. It's famous. You know, <laughs> Happy Gilmore was the same way. I'm like, we're going to watch that again. Yeah. Um, you've told me I should watch Mr. Deeds. I haven't done that yet, but doing yeah, the I deed. Probably wouldn't buy that. Okay. I probably All right. That's good that. advice. Yeah. Um, so the, the other thing is that a couple people have like emailed me from the nation saying like, I want to get started again. What do I do? I know this is like a, it, it just feels so basic, but I, I feel like the advice that I give most is just lay them out, lay those clothes out and your shoes out before bed and then put those on instead of your other clothes and you'll go running That's really good it's, yeah it's basic and amazing okay so there's mine do there's my gomer's tip i know you've heard it before nation but i wanted to say it again oh, that's awesome all right i've got a gomer's tip that i've been meaning to share for six months at least okay i saw aaron my lovely lady uh -huh. the lady <laughs> um was uh she was doing some texting and mm -hmm. she did this thing where she was on a text and then she went back to the, you know, the homepage of texts. Yeah. Where all your, all the names are lined up and you can scroll through them. Yep. And she placed her thing, her thumb down and swiped right. This isn't Tinder folks. Don't worry. She no, wasn't on Tinder sw swiping right or left. Tinder. And it'll take a text that you've already read, and then you can save it as unread. Oh, and so this is a way she prioritizes things she needs to respond to? Right. Okay. She doesn't do it a lot because she's super organized and gets to things really quickly. But I saw her do that, and she was like, yeah, you didn't know you could do that? And I was like, what? <laughs> because this is one of those things that I've, like... If you read a text and then forget to respond to it, it says that it's can, read. Yeah, it can fall into the text hole. Oh, I know no, that no, no. text hole. No, I'm not worried about the other people, other person seeing that you read it. I'm not worried about that, although I got rid of that feature. I don't I actually like don't that like feature. That. No, no. Yeah. What, what I was saying is that if you read it, it's read, and so then mm -hmm. you're less likely to respond to it because it doesn't have that blue dot anymore next to it. Yes, that's it. Okay. So you can swipe right on that text and mark it as unread so that you can remember to go back and respond to that text later. And that has been super helpful for me in my communication in the last, I don't know, six months since I saw that. Great. Saving texts as unread so that you can go back and respond to them and they don't end up in the the text hole and then you feel bad and yeah and people get mad because why didn't you respond to the text etc cetera, etc cetera. there's like there's a text hole and then there's also like a text like shackle or like some sort of like weight i know, you know, no, I I mean? know. like oh no i know boy, I, I haven't me, responded I know. to those <laughs> yeah but at, at least that way i don't you know maybe it's like a way to guilt yourself into responding to stuff well, I, or uh, maybe a more positive spin is it actually is a smart way to have it in front of you so you do it. Okay. I mean, That's better. when when people ask me, should I text you or should I email you? I always say email me because right, I know I don't clear those until I've responded. Right. The, you're naming what's hard for me about text is because true Gomer confession. Yesterday you said something real fun to me on text. Like uh -huh. Lillian, Island, the, the whole family listened oh, yeah. to the Dune Part Two episode, and I read right. it, and I was like, "I love that." But yeah. bro, I forgot to heart it. Mm, I know I felt so bad. I was and like, then "I, yeah, sure." <laughs> so then I hearted it this morning, but too late. I know, and it's that thing. Oh, this is the worst, and I think you did it, and I don't worry because 
there's so much grace, grace abounds. That's going to come up in the, what would you tell your younger self? <laughs> oh but no, like I'm going to get you, called out on something. <laughs> yeah. When you go to share something or text somebody uh -huh. that you didn't respond to. The, bro, I wanted to share this morning the the fact that <laughs> dark matter is dark coming matter. out. Yeah, I'm I about to into I'm yep. about to copy and paste the YouTube link in, and I was like, "Oh no, I didn't heart that text from yesterday. <laughs> what do I do?" So if only you had swiped right, mm -hmm. saved it to respond later, or if you have it in in your pins, and I hope I'm. Oh boy, this is deep. I I wonder if I'm one of your pins on the top. I don't pin. Oh no, you're not. But you're... nobody is. I don't. You don't have to worry about that. Not even Jessica. Mm -mm. Nobody. Really? Nobody's pinned. I don't know. What you, I guess I have to confess to you. I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you mean pinned at the top? Okay, so I have pinned at the top. Oh boy, this is another text. So you can pin a favorite conversation. Oh, it doesn't pin the person. It, it it pins the conversation. No, yeah, it pins. Well, it pins the person. Oh, so, so, dude, you're number two, bro. I'm pinning you right now. Yep. Well, oh, you better your pin. Picture shows up at the top. Well, you better pin Jessica first, bro. Uh, that that's we, weird. You, if you just you I'm... you and I text ten times more than you're me totally and Jessica. Right. Text. You're totally right. The other thing that I got made fun of the other day was speaking of texts is that in in my, in my contacts when yeah. Jessica texts me it says Jessica Gromman. <laughs> and when Jack texts me it says Jack Gromman. Like I don't have any nicknames right, for right, anybody. Right, right. And so people are, people are like so you have your wife in your contacts as Jessica Gromman. <laughs> Hold on, I like, said, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't say like, ooh, baby, honey, bunch, wifey, girl, or whatever. Right. Pookie. <laughs> right. Remember Cecil and Kim? They were like, hi, Pookie. Yes. Um, so that probably is a little insight into my marriage. It's just like. That is hilarious. <laughs> Good morning, Jessica Grauman. Have a great well, day. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Good morrow. Um. <laughs> I know I have Sleep I, well. I have yeah, good night. Uh and then you retire to your separate beds. <laughs> the two the two twins next to each other. And um, there's a plaque over one that says Stephen Gromman, and then the other one says <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Gromman. Right. Actually, I have Aaron. That's funny. I have her the same way. Aaron Georgeson. Wow. Same way. Okay. Yep. I love this. I would I, I would not have thought that about you. Well, so it's yeah, I'm sure Aaron has the same. I've got Liliana Georgeson here. Okay. Which is so cute. I mean, that's when you've got a kid that's of age that can have. So, you know, I've said before, our solution was a Apple watch for our sixth grader. So we can talk to her and, and she can contact us and we yeah. can know where she is and sell all that. Um, we could talk tech. I'm sure we'll do that in another podcast. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've got you up there with Aaron and my dad, my mom. I don't need to list everybody what else, is, but I do what have is your dad. What is your dad? What is his? John uh, Georgeson. <laughs> yep, mine too. Yep. Ro Dr. Robert Grauman. <laughs> yep. Carol Georgeson. I've got Chad on here. Uh, and then I've got the dudes. I've got our family group and I've got the fight club, my my uh, small group. These are your um, pins. Yep. Okay. The people that I text the most. Okay. I need to start pinning maybe. Yep. Oh, so... well, we'll come back with a pinning update. Okay, good. But I, what I was going to say is the swiping doesn't work for a pin. You have to press and hold. Oh, okay. So you press. So you've got your picture there, right? You press and hold, and then you can mark as unread. Okay. It's the or mark delete. as unread that is important here, and sometimes that, that will happen on our, our on our shared email account. I'll see you mark it as unread. Right after it's been read, because you want to remember. Oh, I want to respond to this one or read it again. Yeah, or sometimes I want to make sure you it. see it. Right, that's true too. Sometimes I'll mark as unread if it's to you. Yep, or forward to myself. That I know totally. you do. Yes, I yep. love doing. I, you would not believe how many times I forward stuff to myself and then forward it again and again and then like I, I mean, I probably Instagram DM myself like twenty times a day. Well, I've got news for you. I uh -huh. do believe it. 
Okay. <laughs> and my, my I, I Tommy would believe gun it. Don't. I do believe it. And my Tommy gun don't. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's head into the core. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let's clap. <clears throat> One, two, three, clap, clap. One, two, three, clap, clap. All right. Hey, how's it going over there? Think it's so weird that you're going to ask, give tips to your, hold, hold on. I think it's so weird that you're going to give tips to your younger self because that's the only one I knew. I knew the Anthony that was 20. So, hey, how's it going over there? I've never known the anything self of Dr. Knudsen. I mean, he's in here very briefly every episode. I've never gotten yep. to know him, but I didn't know the younger Dr. Knudsen. You did. See, that's the thing. Chad told us he's like this famous, fancy doctor. Yep. Super successful, but we knew him as Bow to the Tang Gods, Dr. Knudsen. <laughs> and I didn't even know him as that. He was your across the street. No, not yep. across the street, neighbor, across the door, across the hall in your yep, dorm. Celery. Right? What were, were you, Chad? 180 and he was 182 or something like that. You doxing him now. I wonder who lives in those dorms right now. Oh, they may have torn down celery. I n oh, th there's a bunch that have been torn down. Pot, I maybe celery, and that's where we met Fine Cheese, right? He was in 280. Oh, wow, right above, right above us. Yeah, I mean, we are going to talk about what we would say to our younger selves. It's good to get in the mood. The my well, yeah, dorm. Just Think about that guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that Anthony, that Steven. That Anthony and that Steven, who we're sort of going to be talking to, right? We've decided this is going to be about our 20s, right? Right. Yep. Okay. Um, we do at some point want to do a younger than that episode about us in our teens. Mm -hmm. And then I also think one about our 30s would mm -hmm. be a sweet way to round it out. So we'll do yeah. this one. This is our 20s. Three kids 20s i was thinking well what do you think? i mean i didn't have kids in my 20s so oh okay so <laughs> oh, that's helpful for me maybe that's just helpful for me to think about me in sure. my 20s before kids um right. then we'll do a prequel to do our uh josh baskin age 13 year old mm -hmm. selves yep that's um, where we first thought of this idea exactly um and then we'll do our 30s because i do think that there's something about when you're in your 40s how different yep. that is than your 30s so we will do that eventually oh, yeah. i was going to say my dorm and jessica's dorm still exists and so does this like bench that we kiss for the first time mm. outside of it but the union where we first realized we we're going to get married that's been mm -hmm. torn down mm. Dang, so that's, that's, sad. that's sad yeah um, I suppose that plot of land is still there, but the building isn't. Skylight Lounge, where we first were like, whoa, I think we're supposed to get married. That's Dang. gone. Dang it. Yeah, we yeah, so we also had that combo. Mm. Yeah, this this really this really helps actually to put yourself in that 18, 19, 20 yeah. zone, 21, yep. 22, something like that. Because yep, Aaron and I were uh just laying on the lawn outside Liz Waters. That lawn still exists. And that's where we kind of had a DTR. I remember driving by it with you as yep. like a tour of the past one time. And you saying that's where we had our first to find the relationship conversation. Yep. Well, yeah. we ran past it on that 10 K. That's what I'm thinking about. We didn't drive by it. We ran yep. by it. Wow. The capital, the, the yep. conquer the capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the January 6th version people, just the, the half marathon 10k version <laughs> we did that later just kidding <laughs> no dude don't even <laughs> um, no edits, yeah so no, we did... no edits <laughs> no edits crap even if i make an offensive political joke we can't edit it out nope too late dude <laughs> no i've done it <laughs> it's you're right good. we it's did run good. by it and i remember you saying that's where that's where it all went down. Not all, but that's when you guys, what, yeah. decided you liked each other? Because uh, she was a freshman. I was a junior. We liked each other then. Uh, but but then, you know, we we decided not to date for a little while. I was a moron. It's a whole other story. And then the Lord smite, smote me, smited yeah. me with a appendicitis. Florence Nightingale style. Aaron brought me to the emergency room. I almost died. Fell in love. Overalls? Like, Did she have some overalls on? Yeah, like like 
the overalls from Old Navy, <laughs> red top. No, I'm uh, not saying that because I remember that. I'm just saying it right. because it stuck out to me in, in your falling in love story. Yeah, overalls were so cool back then, and they're cool again. They are cool again. I mean, are you watching Survivor? The, that one guy is always wearing overalls. Ben oh, or whatever yeah. his name is. We are loving Survivor. This season is so nuts. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah we, 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 with my favorite kind is when they're so I know. weird. Oh, make it as weird and crazy as possible. But yeah. that really helps to place us in the 20s, mm -hmm. um, early 20s. I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm just think. I'm thinking undergrad. I'm thinking about talking to my undergrad self. Okay. I'm thinking sort about of. very early, maybe undergrad and also right away after. Yeah, sure. Because, I mean, I suppose some of the same things are happening then, right? Like you're, I mean, I work with undergrads. Yep. And young professionals. Mm -hmm. And so part of this thing, which is like, what would you say to your younger self? What would you say to yourself in your 20s is weird because I've had to kind of come out of the fact that I most of my job is telling 20 year olds what I wish I had told myself. Right. Uh, that helps. But I want it. I want this to actually be about me and when I mm -hmm. think about my own self but i do as i've been thinking about it i've been thinking about like this is really when you are becoming um an adult right you're making mm -hmm. adult grown-up decisions for the first time in your life you're thinking about what what am i doing now that is going to have an effect on the rest of my life or you're not you're just kind of living yeah i i just think there's this is a fulcrum point mm -hmm. of life i mean that's that's what you work with inner varsity, you know, and my work yep. with passion, right? It's yep. like, this is a fulcrum point of life mm -hmm. where you're deciding, like, am I going to, you know, live out the story that I've been, you know, with my family? It's the mm -hmm. point at which you can, you, you're kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm thinking like unscripted. You're like, what story am I going to live into? What story am I going to write? Yeah. Um, and so it's like, it's kind of like this blank page moment of life or something. I don't know. That's what I'm picturing. Differently than it is when you're 13. And yeah. probably differently than it is when you're in your 30s and you've gotten used to it a little bit. The, the, uh -huh. Your 20s, late undergrad, um, your first jobs. We, I got married earlier than you did, but um, a chunk of 20s for me was no kids, right? Mm -hmm. But like, what is it that I want to do? Who, and maybe more importantly, who is it that I want to be? Mm -hmm. Those questions seem like more prescient in your early 20s than ever before. Yep. Oh, for sure. See, I, I was going to say, though, I mean, be versus do uh -huh. is something that I only recently uh, figured out. Is... No, you're right. So, so, so I, I feel like when you're 20, it's what am I going to do? Yeah. But you're so it, right. like, is, is that, is that like, does that resonate? A hundred percent. I don't actually think I was thinking much about how is this decision or what I'm doing right now affecting who I am as much as, and one of the things I would say to my younger self is around that as much mm -hmm. as what you're saying, like do gain you know, like, um, accomplish now. Yeah. I, I think it's important to say, and I, I, maybe you feel the same way is that part of why this practice is difficult. What would I say to my younger self? Part of it is like, you don't want to mess with really important mistakes that I made. Mm. Yeah. And so there's, there are a lot of movies about this. I was actually thinking about frequency the other day. Like, I want to watch Frequency hmm. again. Do you, did you ever watch that? I it's with, did watch it. Yep. But that was, isn't about talking to your younger self, but it's the, a, a son, a, an adult son talking to his dad when his dad yeah. was that age. And who's the dad? I can't remember. Mm. The is son. Dennis Quaid? Yes, it's Dennis Quaid. And the son is whoever played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. I can't remember oh, his Jim name. Oh, Jim Caviezel. That's him. Yeah. And so it's not quite this. Mm -hmm. But it's like mm. their ham radio. All of a sudden, he got to, he yeah. gets to talk to his dad when his dad was his age. Dang. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it, I've got chill bumps. It's a really so, good movie, bro, and I haven't seen it for so long. And now I'm a dad with adult sons, and I'm like, can I even make it through that movie? Can it's you, probably a question. Well, have you watched River Runs Through It since I told you to watch it again? No, that's on my queue, and I feel bad about it. I hate telling you that I didn't. Oh, don't no, dude, don't feel bad. I, I mean, talk about having adult sons or college age sons. I mean, I I don't even know if you'll be able to make it through that movie. Like, maybe I might have to should. watch it like <laughs> maybe after they're maybe after Jack has graduated, he's not in the house. Um, right. Th- but there are a lot of movies about like. I mean, big is sort of like it, but like 13 going on 30, like movies like that. Like, what if you mm-hmm. could live again? Mm. Um, oh, yeah. When you're young. And p- I've always thought this about my life. Like, I wouldn't want to take away some of the huge blunders. Oh, yeah. That made me who I am today. And I also w- wouldn't want to, and I don't when I'm talking to 20 year olds, discourage the ambition of yep. doing yeah okay so actually i wrote in my notes dude i was like be wise and gentle mm-hmm. to the person you're talking to which is either a college student or former us yeah in this practice it's former us yep good robot us is the, the the yeah the the yeah like 69 dude like we're going back <laughs> in time we're gonna talk to ourselves yeah. Uh, (laughs) and uh and so like there is a a like i mean i've I've been reading the the um the two mountains book the second mountain by david brooks and i've been listening Mm -hmm. to a bunch of interviews by him and the thing is you you have to climb the first mountain you have to uh and so what so my number two i wrote eight (laughs) Okay, I have three. I did I did a retreat. So, and I'm turning 45 on Monday. And so I'm like, I'm halfway through my 40s. It's a perfect time to do this app, bro, because your birthday oh, is in a couple of days. I, I'm, I mean, and I'm a four. So it's just like <laughs> introspective. Like, what does Richard Rohr say about fours? They're miserable and they love it. <laughs> so did this practice make you miserable? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, okay. they, I, I like sad music, right? I like. Right. Um, but what I wrote down for my number two that goes right along with this is what you're going to go through. This is me mm-hmm. talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Is going to hurt. Mm. But it is necessary and you wouldn't want it any other way. Mm-hmm. Th- that's, uh, so what I said I, that's just, what I mean. Yeah. Well, so I said scars suffering disappointments failures mm-hmm. are what form you yep and there's no way you like you can't skip or bypass it yep and so like what i'd want to tell my 24 year or, or sorry my 20 year old self mm-hmm. like like in my like back to the future style like fix it all yeah is like i I wrote a list of that crap i mean like one of them was like don't ever wear bangs because you look (laughs) right and and And... we also asked this is probably a good time to say we also asked the nation this question and some of them had funny ones like that like yeah i mean fashion tips yeah don't do that long hair thing it looks so dumb (laughs) not to you no i was just gonna say some of my biggest (laughs) mistakes were hair related (laughs) and i think i could probably say to my younger self don't do that and that's not one of the things that we're talking about right like you ne- right. i don't think i actually needed to go through the banks to be yep. who yeah, i they, am they, today they didn't form you but the right. failures mm-hmm. and the crushing disappointments and the things that you learn from them and the scarrings and the relational woes like and the mistakes and the mistakes I... How would you, how would I know not to do those anymore if I hadn't done them? And dude, uh, uh, and and I could go back and tell myself maybe it would be different if I recognized myself and I was like, okay, this is me saying this. But there are mistakes that I made, even though dozens of people told me don't do that. Mm. But I didn't learn to not do it until I did it and messed up. Mm. 
it's like you had had to do it you had to learn it for yourself exactly right like i don't know if that's like a human condition thing or just a me thing mm -hmm. but i wouldn't want to and so that then it was like this this like balancing act of what could i say to myself and not take away that really important part of life yeah well so the like some of the disappointments that i've faced then sent me back to the drawing board to develop mm -hmm. yep you know sent me to uh meet a person that i may not have met or right. work with a person mm -hmm. you know it's like um our pastor louis always says like there's all these dots like in mm. your life and then they connect but only yep. when you look backwards mm -hmm. so the dots the, like you can only see them connect like when you look back and you're like yep. wow what a story right. that's been being written uh so it's like if we were to revert like like go back and and be like don't do this don't do this don't do this like you would you would thwart a lot of your growth because yeah. because it just needs to happen um mm -hmm. so like the, here's an analogy that i've i don't know if i've ever shared on the podcast um my bassoon okay was a tree mm -hmm. right have i ever said this on the pod yes. um but say it again because and, i love it I, and at one time my beautiful bassoon was mm -hmm. like waving back and forth somewhere in germany what in kind 19... of tree it's a maple tree a maple tree yeah sorry i just needed that detail to fully enter the story <laughs> yeah i mean and we have two maples in the front of our house Amazing. And there were probably, I don't know, two, four, ten bassoons. I don't know how much, how many a maple tree. I don't know how big the tree was. Mm -hmm. Um, but if like an older maple tree went back and was like, "Hey, dude, you're gonna be cut down." Yeah. So you want to avoid that somehow? I don't know how a tree would do that. <laughs> um, I don't know either. But the tree got cut down. Mm -hmm and was aged and was dried and then was put into the hands of this German dude who I wish I could know the name of mm -hmm. at the heckle factory. Mm. And dude, it was drilled. Holes were drilled, sanded, battered, varnished, right. Tuned, redrilled, you know, all these things so that it could be sent, you know, to become a bassoon mm -hmm. and then sent to the United States to Eli Carmen. Mm -hmm. In 1934, uh, you can listen to him on the NBC Symphony recordings. Wow. Uh, you can look him up playing the Weber uh, Hungarian Rondo on YouTube on my bassoon. This is the bassoon you own. This is the bassoon that I own. Mm -hmm. um, but then it got to be at Carnegie Hall, you know, mm -hmm. but it was a tree in Germany. But yeah. it had to be knocked down. Mm-hmm. You drilled know, drilled formed, scarred bent. it had to suffer <laughs> yeah yeah uh so that it could become the thing it had to become and so that's what i think about that that's what i think about like 20 to 40 dude yeah and i do think that, that letting me know that would have been helpful so not yeah not avoid pain mm -hmm. but um so the 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 one of the three that i have I said, your life is so much more than this difficult moment. Mm. And so when I'm going through a difficult moment and when I have for the past 20 years, often I'm like, I can't think about anything else. It consumes my life. A conversation will just consume me that went mm. badly or something that I did that failed will just consume me. And I do think me going back as a 46-year-old guy and telling my 22-year-old self, your life is way longer than this. Your wife, your mm. life, your wife too. Your, your, your <laughs> life is way bigger than this and more beautiful than this. And it's okay that you're going through this. So I, and I wish I could remember where I read this analogy. I read this analogy of the Grand Canyon, which is mm. the way we often live life is we look at these like little tiny jagged rocks from like this far away, six inches away. Mm. And life is the Grand Canyon. Mm. your life is and every Incredible. one of those cracks and and 
spaces where the water busted through and the long mm. obedience in the same direction uh-huh. is you just have to step back a little. And so I wish I could tell myself at 22, don't get obsessed with the mistakes and the difficult things. Mm. Your life is bigger than that. Very um. Good. So I would hope that my younger self would take that and be a healthier person because I would, instead of being so thrown by everything mm. big and little that was hard or difficult or a mistake or screw up or perceived bad, um, yep. then I could have a, a maybe more of a, a larger view on it. So that's one of the things that I wrote that I'd want to say. Mm. What was um like a big watershed or like a, a black swan moment like that like where i couldn't get over it and it was too hard yeah mm -hmm. um there early in my ministry when uh there wasn't the growth numerically that i wanted to see mm. yep and i really was walking around for five six years feeling like a failure. Hmm. Um, so that's interesting that you asked that because the the first thing that I wrote down that I would want to say to myself is it's about quality, not quantity. Mm. It's that's not good. about numbers. It's not about money. And I always have to say that to myself still. All these things you're saying to yourself still, right? right. right. Like, um, and it's not about later in my 20s, social media likes, and right. follows it's not even about about like the amount of relationships and the amount of friends that i have mm. or accolades it's about quality of life faithfulness we've talked about before um the amount that i love if there's going to be an amount it would be that how deeply i love and how how generously i give mm. um but I just, for, I would say my 20s were about quantity. Yeah. And I would want to go back and say, it's it's more about the quality of your life and the ways that you improve quality of life and other people. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so good, dude. And then, I mean, to... if I was going to list my failures, I, I we'd be here for 12 <laughs> hours yeah. that have, hey, like, dude. almost derailed me. Yeah, we've we have plenty yeah uh yeah it's it's almost like from the failure uh every failure is a new opportunity no i'm just kidding um i just saw that on instagram that. like you know that charlie <laughs> baron guy the the like uh -huh. midwestern he did yeah. uh if a like a guy that watches instagram all the time uh -huh. were to uh quote like he was on a date and every okay. the, the woman Everything would say was something quote <laughs> yeah and then he'd be like every failure is an opportunity or whatever you know <laughs> even though you yeah. know i love those quotes and every single of one i course. actually like but the way he said it was super funny yeah um wow yep you're gonna be you're, you're gonna have to like basically push through the pain and it's gonna hurt real bad um do you mind if i ask you what no nope. mm. can you remember a moment like that for you or oh, man um in your 20s oh man in my 20s cuz i had a couple auditions in the last 10 years mm -hmm. that were that that were the ones that i go to but we, but i think that's why about... i asked you in your 20s cuz i didn't want i didn't want to cause too much pain in this app no 20s were like um man I, I mean, well, so I remember being 18 and not getting into Curtis. What's that? And being, uh, so Curtis is like the other than Juilliard, like the greatest music school in the world. Oh, OK. Uh, and being like, I didn't think that was the end of the world. Mm. But I was like, that is such a bummer. Like, I thought I was going to go to Curtis mm -hmm. uh, and study with Bernard Garfield and oh. um you know and i was gonna be a you know bassoon player in a major orchestra at like 22 mm -hmm. you know what i mean uh i didn't get in there 
Yeah. Uh, and so that was super disappointing, but it, but that, so that's like, um, you know, I have kind of like the idea of like the fork in the road where looking backwards had that happened. I mean, my, like our life would, would not exist the way it does. Right. And so, so you don't want to, so it's not like try harder and practice more so you could get into Curtis. That's not right. advice you would give yourself. That's so, okay. So that's what like in a, in a book, like dark, no, not dark matter. Like, I, I guess I just keep thinking back to the future. Sure. Um, so in order, if you, if you weren't thinking well, okay, I'd be like uh -huh. in order to be my dream position in an orchestra. Yeah. Uh, you know, I need to go back and I need to tell my 17 year old self how to get into Curtis, but the short sighted, you know, backstory to that movie would be like, then I'd come back to Atlanta mm -hmm. in 2024, but I wouldn't live here. Right. You'd knock on the door like a, 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 a yeah. um, what's his a face? Flight on? of the Navigator. A Flight of the Navigator and be some other family in there. Yep. And I'd be like, where's Aaron and Lily and Isla? And why are there so many glass cubes around? I remember that they had that wall, <laughs> that glass cube yeah. wall. And he was like, ah! <laughs> oh totally. So, so it's like, I'm glad I didn't. Every single one of the auditions I would have told you about in my 30s. I'm glad they didn't work out. Yeah. They hurt so bad. Well, and that's uh, why but... this question might be so important. Yeah, and maybe this is the way I wanted to end it, but we're not even close to ending it yet. But like, right. Part of why this practice is helpful is because I'll just speak for myself. Then I think like, well, why can't I just tell myself that now? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I if yeah. I would make the effort to time travel back and say it's about quality, not quantity and say mm -hmm. your life is bigger than this. Sorry, and then this difficult moment, right? Yeah. Why can't I friggin' say it to myself right now? Um, why do <laughs> totally. I think why oh then I would have 20 years of it doesn't make any sense. Why like why can't it, it my six would it help if my 66 year old self came back mm -hmm. in time and said it? Maybe. No, that I would also that... be like, ugh. When I saw him, <laughs> he'd be like, oh, my, I did not age well. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I almost guarantee I'd be like, oh. <laughs> no, <clears throat> dude, we're going to be amazing at 70. Well, right. I, that is so funny that you say that, dude, because I, I wrote the same thing, which is, and reverse engineer is like the word of 2024 We've for been me. saying that a lot for some reason on podcasts this year. Yeah. But I wrote that. I love I it. Wrote, it's good. So I wrote three numbers. I wrote 20, 45, and 70. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, why, like, could we reverse engineer our regrets from 20 to 45 hmm. so that from 45 to 70 or say 25 to 45 and to 65? Well, but you're talking about this 25 year gaps between each, right? So yeah. Oh, no, wait. 25, yeah. 45 is 20. Yeah, so then 65, sure. Oh, no, wait, yep. you said 20, 45, 70. Yeah. I don't okay, know. It just so that is 25-year cool like... gaps. No, I like it. Um, It was like, if if you could, man. Okay, so I mean, because I wrote same thing as you. My first one was, it's a long arc. Good things take time. Yep. Uh, What are you going to do? What you're going to do is going to hurt a lot, but it's necessary. Mm -hmm. So imagine mm -hmm. telling yourself now that. Right. Um, and I need yeah. my old self. I need my old self to come and tell myself these things. Well, that's But see, that's why. So this is why like the multi-generational church is so important. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Is somebody like Roger mm -hmm. is able to be the 70-year-old you. Right. And what a blessing it is to be 45 year old Anthony. Yeah. Pouring out into your 20 year old, even if it's your 17 year old bassoon student, right? Oh, I'm, I'm walking a 17 and an 18 year old right now through where should they go to college? Awesome. Uh, you know, I, I'm walking with 
my student Brendan, who is on the professional circuit, getting really, really close to big auditions, right? Yeah. Uh, so th and so that's that's where the multi generational thing is so cool, and I love being just like you, working with mm -hmm. college students and high schoolers, and then having kids is. Uh, hopefully you're able to walk with somebody that you're ahead of, mm -hmm. and that you're behind, and you can both, yep. you know share your experiences good and bad i mean like share the bad ones um, oh definitely and i my my favorite feedback that we get about the podcast is from younger folks mm. who say you're giving me a leg up on you're 10 mm. years ahead of me you're 20 years ahead of me jason has said you're 10 you guys are 10 years ahead of me yep. Kaz has said you're 20 years ahead of me to me yeah and it's mm. like amazing to be able to listen to guys like what you were just saying, you have to talk about the bad mm -hmm. and to hear, okay, like I can't tell cause what to do and all the mistakes to avoid. I wouldn't want to, but I right. can tell him your life is bigger than this moment. Yep. And that this is what you're going through right now is as important than any success that you're going to have maybe more mm -hmm if it's something difficult um yeah, yeah. i mean th this is where our uh our our culture does not do this well at all mm -mm. because we're we're like a youth culture and an achievement culture and a, a make your mark hyper individualistic culture oh right and so we kind of like to cast away you know shove aside knowledge from people older than us because they're like well you don't know like you don't know what it's like now um, and so it's, it's kind of an honor to be able to like be with somebody like cause or Brendan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Who I think respect us a lot. Yep. Uh, and then I'm able, you know, I've had my mentors. We, we talk mentor mentee all the time on the pod. Oh yeah. Uh, that have walked the journey. Right. So, yeah. And the Rogers and, mm -hmm. and all that. So basically be around maybe that that's a, that's a bonus is like to tell your 20 year old self and actually i think we did this huh. is be around people that aren't just 20. yeah I, I i've always loved to make that a part of my life to be mm. to like you said have somebody more advanced than me mm. that i can learn from and people less advanced than me i don't know if that's the right <laughs> way to say it but like yeah. to be able to pour Whatever wisdom I have, and my my word a couple of years ago was generous. To last year was generous. One mm -hmm. of the things that I was like, it's okay if I'm generous with my age, mm. my wisdom, with with people that aren't as old as me, and aren't as wise as me. Not that I'm yep. about, I've arrived at all, but yeah. hopefully when you're in your forties, you're wiser than you were when than when you were in your twenties. Yeah, dude. I mean, a hundred percent. And I, I would, I would hope so. And actually I think with, with humility, you can carry that really well Yeah. and be like, the, it is not unhumble. Sorry. It's, it's not proud Yeah. to be like, dude, I've walked that road. Especially if someone's asking. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like sometimes I'll yeah, catch myself yeah. like, Ugh, I just, that was unsolicited. What just mm -hmm. happened? Um, sure. And I didn't have the trust built with that person to say what I just did. But especially if you have a mentor mentee relationship, somebody trusts you, they're asking like, be generous with your age, be generous with your advice. Um, are there other, like you, you had started reading down the list. I'm, I'm just wondering what other ones you oh, have man. on there that you want to yeah. share. I have one more, but um, I know you had more than me. Let me do, let me do one more. I mean, it, it's let's like this is the point in the podcast where it's like holy smokes there's mm -hmm. so many more things it's crazy but a lot so of we may need to me. come back to it with a sequel to our 20s one and then we can dig in more to some of the feedback that we got to yeah i think that's a good idea um okay i recently saw a tweet that mm -hmm. said your food is either medicine or poison mm -hmm. yeah and uh, meaning an accumulative effect, right? Right. Yep. I wish my 20-year-old self had understood 
compound interest better in like all aspects. So Dude, I just wrote incredible. a list. Incredible. Yes. <laughs> so it's it's my poison versus medicine habits. Okay. Slash small simple. You're not just idea. talking about food here, right? No. It okay. just it triggered it. I, I saw it, this tweet yesterday, and I was like, "That is friggin' genius." Yeah. Uh, and you know, poison's kind of hyperbole. Medicines kind of, sure. uh, you know. But I get it. I mean, the visual's helpful when you're talking about cum- something like this. Yeah. So I just wrote, "I wish I had blank sooner." Okay. I wish I had. So basically, eaten better, mm-hmm. run, exercise. Like, remember that twenty-year-old me that watched all my roommates try running and they all failed, <laughs> but I, I didn't even try. They all went and I was like, that looks rough. <laughs> yeah, I'll let them try. <laughs> uh, I remember they all crashed, you know, in our living room, all sweaty. And I was like, poor, poor guys. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had done that. I wish I had said, oh, sure. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Like I wish in that sense, I had been more of a yes man. Mm hmm. Sure. Now you were a yes man. I want you to give yourself a little credit. Like, yeah. I, I, you, I mean, even the stories that you were telling about when you did your uh, concerto in high school, where you're like, oh yeah, you took every friggin' opportunity, and you were like hardly nervous about it. And yep. so that's another reason why I wouldn't want to go. I, I was too. I, mm-hmm. Maybe not quite so laissez faire as you were. <laughs> yeah, I was. But I, mean, I wouldn't yeah. want to take that away from either of us. Yeah. Um, I, I think you're talking about some more like maybe with a little more wisdom in there. This is I'm saying yeah. it to me. Like yeah. I wish I had saved more or and better. Well, so yeah, that was on there. So like mm-hmm. I wish I had saved earlier. Yeah. Read and memorized, like read mm-hmm. books and then memorized scripture, practice yeah. the way. Mm-hmm. Journaled. Mm-hmm. And and so this, these, I'm pointing at my freaking <laughs> Habits he book. is. I brought, you know, he is pointing hard right now. Uh, is like th- this was maybe where the light bulb went off of mm. why doesn't if my seventy year old self, which is twenty five years from now, told me this, right? So I'm like regretting. This is reverse engineering regret, not telling my twenty, not doing this at twenty. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, dude. If you got a pulse, God's got a plan, yo. <laughs> there we go. Write that one down. I stole that one, and I knew you would love it. <laughs> yeah, well, you could see me sort of cringing while I laughed. <laughs> and you knew that was going to happen. Yep. Um, no, no, but, like, like, why be like, oh, I wish, like, like, I guess basically why end the conversation with, I wish I had told my 20-year self out, 20-year mm-hmm. self that, 20-year-old self that, and then boom close the laptop no it's like okay cool Uh bummer yeah but also you're a tree now you're a bassoon get played i don't know (laughs) (laughs) i don't know be a player be Um, a player yeah uh but now look forward because those five-year journals i have one that's full now Mm. and i'm on a second one yep because i started journaling um just as an example right yeah so it's not over. No. There's, um, every, on the front of every journal I've ever had, I know I've said this over and over again, but I'm just going to again, I write, I can start again. Mm, because I know yep. I'm going to stop. Yep. And there will be weeks and weeks where I don't. I know that I'm going to start a streak and then stop it right away. I know right. that like it, it, it happens with exercise. It happens with all those things that you probably would put in the blank. Saving. Yep. Eat better, but, run, exercise, save, read, memorize. Right. Practice but if the way, any of those journal. things, the, the only way that those things conquer me is when I decide I can't start again because mm. of why. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know why that's what we think that it's too late to start again. It never is. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I agree with you 100%. This is the purpose of the practice is to say, well, why can't I just say that to myself right now i don't need time travel yep like time travel to right now we're (laughs) 70 we're 65 i mean so that i mean that's something i'm thinking about and actually you know it's funny i'm looking through five through eight and i think there's something that i would tell my 30 year old self so i think i can put those 
Okay. In the uh, next app. And, okay. Uh, also, listener feedback. Um, yeah. Um, can I just give my last one? A- absolutely. I was uh, was just running with that, um, and now I can't even remember what I was saying. I yeah, interrupted go you. for it. It's my fault. No, no, no. Go for it. Okay. Um, the the last thing I wrote is that it's okay if things that used to work don't work anymore. Mm. And so this is a spiritual thing for me. Mm-hmm. My process in my 20s and 30s in particular was all the kind of spiritual disciplines that I learned in my teens mm-hmm. stopped working. Mm. And I I got so upset with myself until Roger told me it's not the same. <laughs> like it's mm. not supposed to be the same for your whole life. And so if yep. doing this thing that worked and it can go well beyond your spiritual life, but like if this kind of relationship, for instance, worked for you in your early twenties and it doesn't anymore in your thirties, it's okay to change. It's okay mm-hmm. to alter yourself it's okay to alter what you eat because you can't eat the way you did in your 20s you don't have to be mad about that you can just and this is with my embrace word of course of 2024 is like i'm trying to learn this again that there's a lot of things that just don't work anymore Hmm. and i have to tell myself or have somebody else tell me over and over again that's okay yep um and so you you listened to that sermon I gave on reading the Bible where I was like, I just need to talk mm. to middle-aged people right now. Yep. It's okay if you have to change the way you do this. Yes. God's not mad at you. <laughs> Neither am I. Mm-hmm. Yep. The only, the only way to do it wrong is to say, is to quit. Hmm. You can change the way that some of these things, and I wish... That is definitely something I wish I knew earlier and in my 20s is that crises in aging are okay and changing the way you function is okay. So that's my Mm. third thing that I have written down. That's really, really good, dude. Yeah, I was thinking with that one because I saw the notes in the notepad. Mm Mm-hmm. weird you still recording no i stopped okay go to we can finish this here great go to one go to one hour and one hour and 50 Uh seconds 50 seconds got it one hour and 50 okay great right there cool yep okay one two three click clap one two three clap clap one two three clap clap i'll just finish that thought great uh is that i used to meet god the most in loud places mm-hmm. and in my 40s i meet him the most in quiet places you you named it bro that's exactly the that's exactly the along the lines of what i was thinking hmm. and I, we can't beat ourselves up because things have changed in fact there's so much beauty in that Yep. If we would embrace it. Totally. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I didn't in quiet places then and don't in loud places now. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but that's, just, I mean, I, it, I, I think things just, you start to, you just change. You just you know change. I mean? yep. There's a, I think there's a reason that older people, not to be ageist, but kind of, we're talking about that. And we're also like sort of that. To, <laughs> like to come to symphony concerts. Yeah. Uh, although, definitely. honestly, anytime a young person comes, there's the same thing. Like, they turn off their phone for two hours, and they come and sit and enjoy something that happens in the moment. And they're like, whoa, that was, like, transcendent. Or that right, was yeah. relaxing. Or that was beautiful, you know. Mm-hmm. But I do think that there is a reason uh, that 
um, as we age, we're drawn to different things. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's, yeah, that's I mean, awesome, that's, dude. that's kind of blowing my mind right now. Super insightful it, it, that it's okay to slow down even, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and so when we age, I think often we're like, I'm slower than I used to be, or I can't handle as much like noise, <laughs> Yeah. And that's like yep. look down on or something like, oh my gosh, yeah, if it's really too loud, down. you're too old, right? We used to say that. We dude. used to say that. <laughs> and I, I'm always, at this point, I'm like, shut up. First of all, you said that too loudly. It's hurting my ears. Secondly, right. Or you need to say it louder because I can't hear you. What, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's pretty good. Whenever somebody says that, you should say, huh? What? Huh? A little louder? Come again? Um, But I, I need to... And I wish I could tell my younger self this this advice, which is that it's not bad to slow down. It's not bad to embrace your new capacity for things. Yep. There's beauty in that. There's beauty in the second mountain. Mm. Yep. All right. Well, we have we didn't get to any of the listener feedback. It was so awesome. And so we're just oh, gonna yeah. have to do another episode at some point, maybe later in the year. Um, where we where we read some of that and maybe say maybe you can say some more here. Oh, I I mean like, dude, I have a whole nother page of notes. Uh, I mean, I was gonna say make sure to hit record on that one podcast that we forgot to record in Bend, Oregon, but that would be to our forty five year old self. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that one for what would what do we wish we could say to our early podcasting selves? <laughs> that actually would be a fun episode. <laughs> All right, dude, let's head into what's giving us life this week. All right, let's do it. <sighs> okay. That actually worked out perfectly because all the next stuff, I think I would say better to my 30-year-old self anyways. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I had so to cut a bunch of stuff where I was like, no, I wasn't even thinking about that in my 20s yet. Totally. You're right. Okay, great. All right. One, two, three, clap. Clap. One, two, three, clap. Clap. Here we are in what's giving us life this week. We always love to end on a high, even though that was a fun, lively conversation, I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I want to reverse engineer 70, bro. <laughs> Crush it. <laughs> also, seriously, if people sent that feedback, don't feel bad that we haven't shared it yet because we're going to turn that into an app. Yes. Uh, I mean, like, after having gone through all the stuff that I was writing and then seeing everybody's like I, you know, it, it's it's kind of like seeing different people's treatment of Dune. Uh, That's true. <laughs> you know, it's like we had the same source material, our lives, mm -hmm. and how do we how do we treat it? And yeah, so and it we want to honor that, especially because I do think yes. when we ask these deeper questions, people really think about their answers, and there mm -hmm. are some incredible ones in there. So yep. you will hear those in an upcoming episode. Um, also, that gives us more content. Oh, it gives us more. I mean, absolutely. We're always, and that's what I would tell, say to my 20 year old self too. get off the couch to get content. There we go. Right? I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Don't just let your roommates try it one time. <laughs> Don't, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was one, maybe two. Um, I want to hear about the, uh, the, the totality. Mm. Total okay, yeah. eclipse of the sun. Man. Okay. I mean, this could be an episode in and of itself. But maybe six months ago, we figured out the eclipse was at the end of our spring break, the girl's mm -hmm. spring break. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Aaron did some research to find out the totality zone, which is like 1.4 miles wide. Oh, so cool. Uh, and, it, and so Aaron figured out it was going to be like two and a half hours past Nashville. Mm. So we planned a Nashville trip. And how far I away is that there. from your home? Uh about uh nashville's four. Oh, okay so. this was quite a trek yeah uh so i flew into nashville we had a super fun day in nashville and then that night we drove to clarksville and then to missouri okay uh the next morning and it it was just really cool because it was a a not a global but a u.s event at least uh-huh they're, they're, the, the global is going to, they're going to have one in 2027 or something like that. Okay. And there's one going through Africa, mm -hmm. maybe Europe. 
Um, uh, so this was the U.S. one, right? And dude, the highway going up pretty slow. Okay, and it was just super fun to see all these people going to see the same thing. Yeah, it's that shared experience thing. Yep. Uh, you know, you you pull over to the gas station and it's full of families mm. with like Eclipse T-shirts. Uh huh. Like dudes. Glasses. Yo, yeah, long beards with like their telescopes. Uh huh. Uh, biker gangs. Um, <laughs> you know, like from Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> That's um, what I was just gonna say. <laughs> it's yeah. The guys from Pee Wee. Yeah. Um, and. And then you just, Aaron found this really cool like park that was advertised on, mm. like she found it um, in that city. So there was a college and then this park. Okay. And they were also in the dark zone for the one in 2017, which is kind of crazy. Oh, wow. Uh, so they had a cool little setup. And dude, all, all I can say is that is of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. So you're, you're the, it, the, the whole event lasts, yeah. I think like 45 minutes to an hour on either side. Right. Where you can start seeing the moon covering the sun. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then it gets, it's, it's, it, it's like, there's a dimmer switch yeah. on the sun for 45 minutes. And mm. then in like, just a few seconds it turns into night for four so, minutes and so i've never seen this before um totality i mean i've never yeah. been in the um the what were the the something the, of totality dark zone or totality yeah. zone. i can't remember what it's called but even last october we got a partial one where i mm -hmm. the thing i love is those crescent shadows you know what i mean oh yeah um but I've never been in the in totality. And so I only have pictures to go off of it, right? My mm. assumption is it's kind of like sphere where you're yep. like, oh, those pictures look great. That video looks great. Right. And you're kind of like, yeah, but you got to go to sphere oh, yeah. <laughs> to right. really understand. <clears throat> it's kind of like that because now all the pictures that I see, I'm like, yeah, nice. Yeah. But like to be to be it's two, it's 1 58 p.m and it's night weird and the frogs start croaking the crickets mm. start chirping insane uh the temperature just drops in an instant dude mm -hmm. and then like we were with the rosenbaums and they've got a puppy and mm. the puppy just chilled out immediately weird it was like, oh, it's night now. Yeah, good night. Like nature was like, oh, oh, oh we're doing oh, okay. We're doing that. <laughs> cool. Like <laughs> they don't have a clock. You know what I mean? It feels a little early, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even tired yet. I guess I'll start uh, chirping. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and so like, but so that was amazing. But dude, oh, I I can't, I can't even describe it, and I really don't want to make you feel. Like you missed out. I don't. I want to hear. It's like the most. So it was a perfectly blue sky. Somehow we just lucked out. Yeah. And so it is pristine ring of fire. Mm. And it it looks like the the this crystal clear black circle surrounded by white just flares of like gas i mean i don't even uh, so th that doesn't even show up on pictures really or videos no. that i've watched uh, no like i i like i stared at it <laughs> like i'll start crying dude i stared at it and i was like i've never seen anything this beautiful uh. and like I, I just dude all four of us the rosenbaums and us we all just started crying dude Wow. It, like, this is so beautiful. Amazing. Um, and the kids, like, even, like, the kids, like, there were a bunch of kids, and they were, like, in awe. Mm -hmm. You know, just, like, what the yep. heck? Yeah. Um. So, 
it was unbelievable. <clears throat> and then, um, so, so then, so we'll, we'll end there. Mm. Uh, the, the awesomeness, because then we had a seven hour drive home and we both had to work the next day. Uh huh. And so I, I entered ways as soon as two Oh two happened. Yeah. Unbelievable. Praising the Lord, jumping around. Coolest thing ever. Um, then, and you try to take a picture of it and it's like, looks stupid. Yeah. Like I got a, actually a couple of pretty cool shots on my phone, but, um, you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, I look up ways and it says like seven hours and two minutes uh -huh. to get home. And it actually took 12 hours Oh, <laughs> because oh gosh. Like, we leave the park and then you've got, you know, four different highways and uh -huh. like millions of people just trying to get home from that, like mile and a quarter strip yeah. of darkness. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, man, I got to just give our girls serious, like, first of all, for being serious props, first of all, for being amazing travelers and never once being like, why did we do that? Right. Like the, the word on, in our car was like worth it. Mm hmm. Sounds worth like it. it. Yeah. Got home at 3 a.m. Aaron had to be at work at 7. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, and then I got the girls to school. We let them sleep till 8. Uh -huh. And then I took them to school and then went to rehearsal. Wow. Dang. Um, but worth it, but, it sounds like. Yeah. And then the, and then that day, so that was what, yesterday or two days ago, we um we all were in bed by 8. Mm. And that was pretty sweet. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. It's like okay everybody's to go sleeping early. by eight thirty. That was amazing. That, that was like its own eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. A little bonus eclipse. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's night early. Yeah, but the, you know this. I, I maybe I would tag this on to something I would tell my younger self mm -hmm. is just do experiences. Yep. Get off the couch. Get off the couch. Mm. because i mean top five family moment yeah amazing so far it's that and guardians of the galaxy ride <laughs> <laughs> but like you know and and sphere yeah you know it's like this is what i want to do i want to do stuff yeah this might also be an aging thing where it's like it's less about accumulating mm. It's less about stuff. Yep. And it is just way more about seeing things with your actual eyeballs, hearing them with your actual ears, mm -hmm. doing that with people you love. Yep. All right. Just um, put your eyeballs on it. Yeah. I'm going to skip mine because that's too good. <sighs> Sorry. I heard, I read this thing in the New Yorker with this, this person said, seeing a partial total eclipse like i have is like kissing someone seeing huh. totality is like making love <laughs> dude that's that's pretty much it you're i'm sorry to say to anybody that didn't get there but that's exactly it <laughs> well i'll just i'll just fully embrace my virginity all right um nice. if anybody wants to contact us if you have any thoughts on uh, further thoughts on what you would say to your younger self. We have not recorded that feedback episode yet, so it's not too late to let us know. The best way to do that is follow us on Instagram. Everything Gomers is in our link tree in our bio. You can call us on the Gomer phone. That number is 608-622-7669. That's 608-NBA-PONY. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe or follow us on whatever podcast app you're listening to right now. Thank you to Davis for our music, Jason and Eric for our graphics, Adam, our webmaster, and Lindsay, our social media maestro. And especially thank you to our Gomertrons. You subscribe to our second podcast, The Bonus Disc, on Patreon. Not only home of our monthly movie show, Perfect Movie, where we just covered Dune Part 2, if you didn't know. Uh huh. And next month's The Truman Show is coming soon. But oh, extra yeah. episodes like Perfect Movie Robot, two gomers go to you two at sphere and up to four episodes per month, depending on the level at which you subscribe all that and much more at patreon.com slash two gomers. We welcome your support and we thank you. Awesome, dude. That was fun. I'm pretty drained now.
Me too. But in I'm a good way. I'm tired now. I, I oh, guess I'll go home. I guess I'll just go home. I'm done. He just is <laughs> done running and just walks home. I know. that That's so random. Just done. Random. <laughs> My favorite kind of humor. Random. <laughs> random. All right, dude. Great app. Super fun, man. And remember, everybody, if we can look back mm. and tell our younger selves things, maybe, or at least contemplate what that would be like, and then reverse engineer towards our older selves and make even more awesome decisions, hopefully, you can too. And happy running. All right, let's stop that. One, two, three, stop. Nice. Sweet. Good job, dude. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, you're sure you're okay with this? It's a long one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh, I'm going to stop this recording.